Hi everyone. We're going to be taking our interactive chatbot we built with Langchain and ChatGPT and we're going to be taking a look at its inner thoughts. If you haven't had a chance already, I highly recommend watching Kristen's video on building the interactive chatbot with Langchain. There's a link in the description. Let's get into it. What I have here is the chatbot, as you saw from the previous video, where we can ask a question and get a response. And then I also have the console output of the running code. So let's ask it a question. Who is Jack White's wife? Remember, the brains of our chatbot is the agent we configured uh, using Lane Chain. And so what we're going to go through here are the steps that the agent takes to answer our question. So we start with our input of who is Jack White's wife. The first thing it does is go to an LLM chain to attempt to solve the problem. It comes back with a suggestion that we should use the Wikipedia tool to search for Jack White. I think this is pretty cool. The agent knows that it has Wikipedia enabled as a tool, and it's therefore able to identify that this is a good question to go to Wikipedia for and give that as a response. So as the next step, the agent invokes the Wikipedia tool with Jack White, gets back this text response from the Wikipedia page, uh, and as a final step, returns to an LLM to say, can we answer the question now given the additional context of the Wikipedia response? And as you can see here, instead of suggesting another tool, we say we have the final answer, which is that Jack White's wife is Olivia Jean. Very cool. Let's ask another question. What is her birth date? And again, it starts by using an LLM chain to identify what it should do next. And this time, it again suggests Wikipedia, a, probably a good idea, but this time it knows, based on the context of my question and the memory it has, that what I'm actually looking for is something about Olivia Jean. And that's right, because I said, okay, then, what is her birth date? meaning Olivia Jean. So the next step, it invokes the Wikipedia tool with Olivia Jean, as it did before, and then uses the final step with the LLM chain to identify that the final answer is Olivia Jean's birth date is February 23rd, 1990. Fact check, we're good. Let's step it up a notch. I made one addition to the code from Kristen's video, and that's the addition of the LLM math tool. And what this lets us do is solve word problems using a combination of the Python runtime and large language models. But here's my question. Alrighty. How old is she in days if today is July 4th, 2023? And again, we start with the LLM chain, and its response this time is to use the calculator tool. And the value that we should send to the calculator is the days between February 23rd, 1990 and July 4th, 2023. Um, I think this is really cool that it was able to come up with this uh, sort of infer from our question using the large language model um, a reasonable math question that would be that would get to the answer we're looking for. Uh, and as you can see, the next step, it poses this question to the calculator tool. And the calculator tool then invokes an LLM in order to get this response out of the days between February 23rd and July 4th. Uh, and so this is pretty cool. It's kind of a sketchy math equation where we say take the number of years times 365, the difference of months times 30, and the difference of days. And not all months have 30 days, not all years have 365 days, but still interesting. And then we calculate that uh, using the Python runtime to get 12,000, and there we go, 12,000 days as of July 4th, 2023. Pretty cool. To continue our fact-checking, if we take her date of February 23rd, 1990 and actually see the difference, um, we get something a little different, 12,184 instead of 12,176, and there's likely the sketchy math I mentioned earlier, but still, cool thought process seeing how this works and really gets my wheels turning about how I could use this in different applications and sort of different creative things that we can do with Langchain. Thanks for watching.